Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of February 2021. As per usual, I will be running down the cards, uh, two cards, week by week. So, in the first week, Aries, you have Major Arcana, the Emperor, rooted down by the Three Cups in the upright. So, the Emperor... In the upright position, it's um, Mars energy. This is uh, relating to the signs of both Aries and Scorpio. Could be that you're dealing with those signs or, well, you are an Aries. We already know that. This could be you <laughs> showing up in your own reading in the upright position. Maybe you start off the, mm, the month in week one uh, with a, a level of control. Maybe you're taking control of a situation. It could be in any area. Remember, these are just general readings. So for some of you, this could be taking control of a relationship situation. Others of you could be taking control in your career, your work, your business. Um, uh, just taking control of your finances, your health, whatever is uh, basically on your mind and what it is you need to keep control of. For others of you, this could also be representative of somebody you are dealing with in week one. Perhaps the emperor and the empress in the upright position, these are the last people back in terms of of their influence. This could be representative of like, say, the matriarch and, and uh, the highest point in a in a business or even in a, a home situation, a family home, because sometimes the emperor can represent the father, the grandfather, somebody who's at the head of the, the family. It could be also representative, like I said, of the CEO or a boss or someone who's take, it could be this person is taking control of a situation that concerns you, Aries. And um, if it, you know, he's coming up in the upright position. So although the emperor can rule sometimes with an iron fist can be very, very strict, um, also too can be very helpful. So if you need assistance or helpful from a powerful person, they may be available to aid you in some way. And it's rooted down here with the lovely Three of Cups in the upright position. The Three of Cups is very celebratory energy. So there could be something to celebrate this um, this week for you, Aries. Maybe you're celebrating a, a small get together with a group of friends. This could be family members. This could be co-workers. Uh, whatever the situation is, what you're celebrating, it's going to be up to you individually what the situation is. Um, again, it's going to differ greatly depending upon who you are and what situation you're in. But there could be a level of um, of celebration perhaps for some of you. Maybe this person has uh, brought some, you know, some order, <laughs> made order out of chaos and it's caused to celebrate. This could be a powerful person, assists you and helps you and it's caused to celebrate. For others of you, this could just be, you could be celebrating a... Uh, uh, a family situation, maybe this is a, a shower, like a baby shower or a wedding shower or even, you know, just a small engagement uh, celebration. Again, only take what resonates for you and don't worry about the rest. So in week two, what we have for you is major account of the devil in the reverse position rooted down with the knight of pentacles upright now the devil in the in the upright position can point to a lot of uh of um obsessive thinking it can be oc representative of ocd it can be representing representing um like excessive fears it can be representing um you know just where we're attached to perhaps things that are not really good for us this could be bondage to the material um all kinds of things um obs obsessions and addictions and so forth when the card is inverted however this could be us getting past that point maybe some of you have made new year's resolutions and you're determined to stick to your guns that's good news when the devil comes up in reverse this is strong willpower so for you it could be representing simply that your willpower is super strong in the week in the second week um, others of you you're just letting go of fears you're letting go of addictions you're letting go of obsessive thinking it's rooted down here with the knight of pentacles see this is capricorn energy uh the devil right and this is also earth energy capricorn taurus and virgo so perhaps some of you in week two are dealing with uh, a capricorn or you could just be um, dealing with uh, matters of uh, that the pentacles represent, which is the tangible things in life, 
Pentacles represent our belongings, our finances, and knights usually usher, usher in some kind of offer. Now, this could be the case if you've got something, say, up for sale. This could be an offer that comes in and it's a very solid offer in terms of, say, if you have your home or your business or your car or any material goods up for sale, this could be representative of an offer. Others of you, this could be representative of an offer um, on the romantic front. If you are single and looking, this could be an earth sign or any sign actually that is uh, making an offer towards you. But if this is the case, this person is very, very solid. They have both feet on the ground. This is a solid offer. They may have taken a while to get to you to make this offer in terms of romance, but it's only because they want to make sure everything was perfect and they were solid and they had something to offer. Um, on the other front, it could be an offer coming towards you for a job, or if you're looking, if you're out of work and you're looking for work, this could be a job offer or uh, an offer of, of, um, Maybe even for some of you, perhaps you're looking to take a course in something. There could be an offer to take a course. It's with the devil in reverse here. So I think that what's happening here, whatever this offer is that's coming towards you, Aries is helping you to release your fears and your anxieties towards something. Your overall energy for the entire month is the Ten of Swords reversed. So this is representing releasing um, old issues that sort of hit critical mass. In the upright position, this is where we hit critical mass with a situation. This can be the bottoming out of a last straw in terms of a relationship. This could be bottoming out in terms of the last straw with um, a job situation or what have you. It's something that hit the, the end of the road and you could no longer deal with it anymore. So now it's reversed. So this could be representing where you are finally healing from the situation that sort of bottomed out, whether it was a relationship, whether it was a job situation, finances, health, what have you. Now, moving on to week number three, we have the five of pentacles in reverse here, rooted down by the four of pentacles in reverse. So both the five and four of pentacles here are reversed in week three for you, Aries. The four, the, or the five of pentacles here in the uh, upright position. This can point to, uh, you know, financial difficulties, worrying about finances, perhaps worrying that we don't have enough resources to carry us through. This could be especially true if you have your own business or work for yourself. Perhaps you're concerned, you were concerned that there wouldn't be enough um, clients to, you know, and, and uh, sales or whatever kind of work you were in to sustain the business. This can also be representative of uh, being abandoned or abandoning a group of people. When the card is inverted, however, this can point to um, no longer uh, abandoning someone if you were the one who did the abandoning or if others abandon you, it could be the return of a situation or people from the past returning again. It's rooted down here with the Four of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Four of Pentacles upright, this is my little happy hoarder card. This is where we're holding on so tightly to our things. Sometimes this can be representative of, of holding on to money because we need to save. We need to save for an event. We need to save to move, to buy something, to go somewhere, to, you know. When the card is, uh, this can also be representative of holding on really tightly to old uh, belief systems and old things. When it's when it's um, in the reverse position, this can be where we're releasing that, you know, where you're finally letting go of old limiting belief systems. You're just letting them go. Others of you no longer have to worry about uh, maybe, you know, your finances were tight because you were paying something off or you were doing something financially and now you finally, you know, finish paying that off. You're no longer paying for that car or that trip or what have you. You finally paid off, you know, a credit card or a big bill or something like that and you're done with that. So now the release of, you know, not having to worry about your financial situation being so tight anymore. Others of you, you're just releasing old belief systems that are connected perhaps to your finances and your stability and material world. And the last two cards here represent the final week of uh, February. We have the King of Swords here in the upright, rooted down with the Nine of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful energy, great way to end the month for you, Aries. 
King of Swords, it is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. But the King of Swords can also be representative of someone in the um, the legal field. So this could be, you know, say a lawyer, it could be a police officer, uh, even military. Um, this could be a judge. This could be someone who's um, speaking on your behalf, an arbitrator or something like that. Maybe there's a need to have a conversation with this person if this is, say, a love interest. Not necessarily, they don't have to be an air sign, but if it's uh, somebody you're dealing, even if this is the, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is your partner, romantic partner, maybe you're needing to have a clear cut conversation with this person at the end of the month. It could be, there could be a need for it, maybe for some reason. It could be, you have to talk to your partner. It could be a business partner, your romantic partner, husband, wife, BFF, whatever the situation is. Maybe you have to talk to them about money. Others of you, this is a legal situation. Perhaps you're going through a court situation and this is somebody speaking on your behalf, an arbitrator speaking up for you. And uh, if this is a lawyer, this is someone who maybe you had trouble reaching them before and now you're finally able to get a hold of them and things are moving. And they're moving, I think, in the right direction with the Nine of uh, Cups in the upright position because this is a card that represents the Wish card. So if you're having a clear-cut conversation, whether it be with your 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 friend, your your uh, family member, your uh, boss, uh, a, a legal person, whatever the situation is, I think it turns out very very well. It may be to, exactly to your liking because of the Nine of Cups being the wish card, and it's a wish fulfillment card. Now I'm doing something a little bit different this month. I'm also going to be adding from the Zodiac deck. I'm going to throw a couple of extra cards here just to let you. Know. One on uh, love and romance and one on um, career, just to let you know who could be involved, um, what kind of sign that you could be dealing with. Now, remember, it's sun, moon, or rising. So for your love life, Aries, we've got uh, Aquarius. So we do see the, the king of swords here. Could be Aquarius that you're dealing with or Aquarius could be important in a conversation. Um, concerning your love life and then for your career let's pull another card see what's going on for Aries in the career in terms of zodiac signs so what do we have here career Capricorn interesting because we do see the Knight of Pentacles here and the, um, the devil energy which represents Capricorn so it's interesting we have um, Capricorn energy here for your career and Aquarius for love life. So I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, Aries, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.